Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about the news that drop today man that will blow your mind and i'm talking about none other than the money man himself floor money may weather man and guess what he teaming up with one of his bitter rivals in boxing throughout history that we always seen you know they ain't never really cooperate never really wanted to get along with each other like they supposed to you know i'm talking about oscar de la hoya the golden boy himself yeah 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 i'm dropping something on y'all huh you ain't know nothing about this did you but look, the boxing icons, Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya, man, them guys behind the scenes been planning to team up and start a NBA team in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. See, a lot of people don't, they don't know there is a lot of business moves being made behind the scenes that sometimes never even come to light. We never even get privileged to a lot of deals that done been done with people we think, man, they mortal enemies. It's no way in this earth he'll work with this dude. You know, because you think about it, a lot of your fans hate other people just based upon how you treat them in public. So De La Hoya never treated uh, Mayweather with too much of respect. And, you know, but it hasn't been to the other side with Mayweather. He has never really came out and said nothing bad. He might throw shots here and there, but Mayweather is always calculated about what he says. Now, fast forward, you know, De La Hoya got interviewed a while back. And, you know, the guy was asking him about different things he had going on. And De La Hoya expressed his interest, saying that, hey, you know, I want to have an NBA team. Matter of fact, me and one of my fierce rivals are in talks right now about, you know, creating our own NBA team, bringing our own NBA team here to Las Vegas. And boy, man, oh man, it's been circulated through the airwaves just a little bit not a lot a lot of people don't know a lot of people don't really care because they don't care for Mayweather and you know and vice versa some people don't care for Devil Hoya but both of those guys have millions and millions of dollars worth of fan base and these guys can sell tickets these guys can still pack out a house at their ripe age of 40 and 50 wherever they are you know with those ages but you know, these guys here are icons in the boxing history, community, uh, Hall of Famers, and you can only say that everything that they touch turns to gold, no pun intended, golden boy. But these two guys right here, boxing icons and legends getting together, creating another business revenue for one another. That right there is the beauty of the sport of boxing. These guys can go in the ring, beat each other half to death, want what the next man got, this, that, and the third, but outside of boxing, they can work together. Look at how Bernard Hopkins and De La Hoya worked together tirelessly over the years for Golden Boy. You know, so these guys right here, this is what it's about seeing boxing transcend to other aspects of sport arenas around the world, um, taking their um, their star power to other parts of the world and other sport venues and creating business for themselves and for others, creating other jobs and avenues for others that probably wouldn't have that. You know how much money, more money that's going to bring back to Las Vegas. So, hey, I look for them to do big things with that and I uh, just can't wait to hear more as, you know, more 
drops. I'm going to definitely keep y'all up to date with it. And, you know, with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out.